At first glance, it looks like an ordinary farm, but the Shanghai River's initiative farm is far from it. The land covering an area of over 300 hectares is cultivated using Shanghai principles. In other words, crop production, husbandry, bioenergy and fishing all depend on each other. A so-called circular economy. Tammy Jaja coordinates the farm. It's the zero emission research initiative. And the, the, the zero waste system is a system that works on recycling, recycling of byproducts and waste products. So what you have from one production center that's a waste, that waste material is being channeled to another production center where it is being put into effective and efficient use. The Songhai farm has three important branches. First, there's husbandry with ostriches, cattle, pigs, donkeys, poultry and even snails. Then there's a fish farm featuring a hatchery and several ponds. And of course, crop production. The aim is to link the different branches and organize them in a sustainable and environmentally friendly way. Nothing is considered waste. The manure from the chickens is used to fertilize the fields. And the wastewater from the fish ponds is used for irrigation. Shanghai philosophy prohibits all forms of chemical fertilizer and pesticides which are considered harmful. The system here is a system that we, we carry out a lot of cultural practices. One worthy of mentioning is the mulching. Uh, we use the, the dry grasses, the mulch, to suppress the weed. So you do not, you do not need to go and bring a herbicide to, to spray here. The farm also has installed a biogas plant where crop residue and organic waste are collected. When the material decomposes, it produces methane gas. It's odorless and can be used for cooking. We try as much as possible not to waste some of these byproducts. The, the, the effluent is a byproduct. Now, this effluent material you are seeing here itself is useful. The effluent material in this farm serves as our liquid organic fertilizer. Agriculture makes up over half of Nigeria's GDP. Conventional farming methods can harm the environment and the soil, and in some cases, even decrease yields in the long run. The organic system protects the soil and increases yields gradually. We are not just looking at the, the human health alone, we are also looking at the environment, because these chemicals that ends with the CIDE, the pesticides, the insecticides, the herbicides, the rodenticides, all of them add poison to the environment. Some of them, over the period, there becomes, there, there becomes a build-up. They, they build up and then they can even penetrate, infiltrate down, down, down to the aquifer, the water aquifer, and then pollute the water. The farm also serves as a training center where young people can learn about sustainable production techniques. It's hoped that this will help spread the ideals and the values associated with the Shanghai system and eventually allow sustainable businesses throughout Africa to thrive.